Hi, I'm Salvador Rodriguez with the Los Angeles Times, and this week we're checking out the new Google Chromebook that they made with Samsung. As you can see right away, it looks really similar to MacBook Air. It's got that metallic looking uh, outside, and uh, it's really light. Uh, from the outside, what you can see, it's got two USB ports, a uh, display port that supports uh, HDMI, DVI, VGA. It's got a throwback to the old days with an Ethernet port. And even though it only has 16 gigabytes of solid storage, it also has spaces for a regular SD card. So you can add a little bit more if you need. Before we go in, it's got four gigabytes of RAM, so now you know how fast it's rocking. But once you open it, you right away get to see one of its coolest features, which is its boot time. It gets going in less than seven seconds, and sure enough, that's what it's doing right now. Chromebooks are really great at surfing the web, and the reason for that is because that's pretty much all that they can do. Uh, if you're the kind of user that goes on Facebook, or you, all you do is write uh, Word documents for your homework, you're going to be totally fine because this computer does that, and it also will take care of your Pandora, Netflix, anything that's based on the web, you're good to go. The problem is if you use Photoshop or Final Cut or any program that needs to be installed because this computer is simply just not that powerful and it doesn't have space for you to install those kinds of programs so you're kind of going to be out of luck there. The one thing that you do have is that Google added this plugin that lets you take over the screens of your PC or your Mac and you do it all through the Chrome browser so it's really simple but it's just not there because you can't leave your computer running at home. I tried and it expired so it's, it's so close to being awesome but it's not quite there. It also lets you play some video games so you know we played Bastion on here and it worked totally fine but there were other video games from Google's web store that you can download but right when it's about to launch it tells you that the computer just can't handle it so you know, if you're a gamer, this probably is not the best computer for you. One of the Chromebook's biggest improvements from previous versions is that it now supports more files, and the fact that it has 16 gigabytes uh, of storage lets you put your music on there. You can put movies on there, and it's going to be fine. I tried listening to music, and the speakers were really great. The screen, though, is not so good. It'll sh play an HD movie, but the resolution is 1280 by 800, so it's just barely HD. And when you look at it, you feel like it's back in the 90s. I remember my dad's compact when I look at this. The Chromebooks start at $449, and that's just for the Wi-Fi version. If you want 3G, you have to pay another 100 bucks, and it only comes with 100 megabytes free per month. You can get more through Verizon, but it's going to cost you 20 bucks for a gigabyte, and more for extra bandwidth after that. The obvious comparison is, again, the MacBook Air, but when you really look at it, it compares more to a tablet because it just simply can't keep up to what an Air can do. However, it is 50 bucks less than the cheapest iPad, and it has some advantages over it. The fact that it has a keyboard is great for anyone who's never had a tablet before, and it's got a trackpad too, although I'm not its biggest fan. It's got a bigger screen than most tablets, but again, the resolution is it's pretty bad. Another advantage is that it has Flash, so you can go to more websites and play more games than you can on most tablets, and you can go to Hulu and get access to the whole site without having to pay for it like you would with most tablets and phones. So if you want to pay $50 less than for an iPad, just remember that you're going to be limited to some light computing, but you won't have to worry about viruses or updating. Again, you're not going to be as cool as an iPad owner, and you're going to be in a small ecosystem, and if it doesn't pan out, who knows how long Google's going to support it.